Hi, this is Peter Valtishen. I'm an Adobe Developer Evangelist. Uh, so about a week ago, we released a new PhoneGap version, which is a significant release. It's labeled with a 2.0 tag. Uh, so this new release brings some uh, features, especially when it uh, comes to uh, setting up your debug and development environment for both iOS and Android. So I already covered uh, with my previous uh, video a short tutorial how to set up your environment for iOS. And this one will cover how to do that for Android. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, get started. So first thing, if you don't have it already, please download and install or, or unpackage or unzip the uh, the down uh, the PhoneGap 2.0 release. So you can get it from PhoneGap.com download site. Um, now, once you have it downloaded and unzipped, uh, which I already do have it here, uh, go into a lib Android uh, folder and there you'll find a bin directory. So, of course, all the old structure applies as well and similar stuff is available as you used to do. But now if you go to bin folder and you open a terminal uh, in that folder, uh, you'll have uh, a create script command line script available which will allow you to create new uh, new, uh, new uh, android uh, project before you actually do that you may you have to make sure that you have android and sdk downloaded installed mm -hmm. and uh, and also you have the download download the android sdk tools and platform tools uh, packages in your path so in order to do that you can use uh, this sh this short uh, uh, this short command line um, here export path and use the old path and then point to tool, first of all tools and platform tools as well so if you have those two in the path now you can actually run create script create script will uh, accept three parameters the first one will be the path to your um, new project uh, folder so let's put it in projects pg2 and let's give it an android name the second one is the package name of your android activity so let's give it a com hello world and let's give it a name hello world activity all right there we go so once we launch this it creates new android uh, project and let's go ahead into pg to there android next to our ios which was created in previous uh, tutorial and uh well and that's uh, that's it we have the project now um we can do two things. First of all, you can, of course, import that project into Eclipse. And if you have ADT plugin installed, you can directly from Eclipse uh, launch your debugging environment. So the emulator, you can uh, export it and so on. So let's look how to do that. So go ahead into Eclipse, import and select Android existing code into workspace and select your newly created android project folder here finish and there we go so we have it here and it's an android project and you can do as you used to do now the new thing is that you can also use a command line interface in order to build and deploy to your let's say emulator your app how to do that it's very simple so uh, in your newly created project there's android uh, and of course a folder there and cordova and inside of Cordova, there is a bunch of scripts that you can use to um, debug, emulate, and so on. So let's switch the folder in my command line. So projects, again, PG2, and uh, here we have Android. And of course, uh, change the directory to that. And of course, Cordova as well. Now, if we're here, we can launch, uh, first of all, we can launch emulator. And if we launch that, it will ask us. Oh, device attached emulator is already running. So I already have it running. So let's pull it up here. But if you would run the emulator and please make it before you actually launch debug, because uh, the, the, in order to get it installed, you have to have the, the emulator running before. Uh, so now we can launch the debug. So it runs the build script builds the application, packages all our uh, source code, and it deploys it to our device. So let's let's see how it 
so how it goes. There we go, we can see that it's uh, right now deploying the de device. And also remember that in order to use uh, either the debug or emulator, you also need to have uh, SDK tools and platform tools subfolders in your path because it uses those in order to launch and, and compile. So if it's successful, we can go ahead here, we will see that our app was installed and we can launch it directly from here. and it should run there we go all right so as you can see it was very simple and now you can uh, go further on take those scripts uh, take those projects and actually um, co configure those with your favorite ID so if you're not using Eclipse uh, you use something else your favorite ID or text editor uh, you can actually configure it to launch those common line um, commands and, uh, and launch your emulator and the debug and, and the, the, the build process directly from there. All right, so uh, thank you very much and stay tuned how to actually configure all that with PHP Storm, but that's coming next. Bye.